Today, we will learn how to build the mobile robot vehicle. In part one, we will learn about the components and assembly steps for the lower chassis. In part two, we will learn about the components and assembly steps for the upper chassis. And in part three, we will complete the robot by connecting all the wires. Part one, lower chassis, components and assembly. Here are the 12 components you will need. Lower chassis, motor holders, speedboard holders, screws, Philips M3 30mm, screws, Philips M3 6mm, nuts M3, wheels, omni wheel, infrared line sensors, spacers 25mm, DC motors, several male to female jumper wires. These are the eight steps for assembling the lower chassis. Step 1. Assemble the motors. Let's start by attaching the speedboard holders to the motor wheel axis. Do the same for the other DC motor. Step 2. Insert the motor holders. Insert the motor holders into the lower chassis. Step 3. Position the motors. Position the motor between the motor holders. Step 4. Secure the motors. Secure the motor to the motor holders using screws and nets. Do it for both motors. Ensure that the wires pass through the lower chassis. Step 5. Assemble the Omni Wheel. To assemble the Omni Wheel, first secure the spacers with the screws. Then, fix the Omni Wheel onto the chassis with the screws. Ensure the screws are tightened. Step 6. Assemble the wheels. Assemble the wheels on both sides of the motors. Turn over the chassis board. This curved section indicates the front of the mobile robot vehicle. At the front of the lower chassis is the position for the line sensors to be added on. Step 7. Assemble the infrared line sensors. To assemble the line sensor, first attach it to the spacer. Then, secure the spacers at the front of the mobile robot vehicle. Let's connect the male to female wires. Use a red wire for VCC and a black wire for ground. Use the yellow wire for A0. Do the same for the other sensor. Then, thread them through the lower chassis and set it aside for later. 
the lower chassis assembly is complete. Step 8. Add the spaces for preparation of the upper chassis assembly. Proceed to add the five spaces in preparation for assembling the upper chassis. Part 2. Upper Chassis, Components and Assembly Here are the 10 components you will need. L brackets Infrared distance measuring sensor Upper Chassis Screws, Philips M3 6mm Spacers, 10mm Microcontroller Battery holder, 6AA Breadboard, 400 tie points. 7-segment LED 4-digit display. Nuts, M3. These are the 6 steps for assembling the upper chassis. Step 1. Fixing the distance measuring sensor. Let's start by locating the front of the upper chassis to fix the 2L brackets. Do the same for the other bracket. We will then mount the distance measuring sensor onto the L brackets. Step 2. Fixing the microcontroller board. Attach the three spaces to the microcontroller. Align the spacers onto the upper chassis and mount it. Step 3. Affix the upper chassis. Prepare the motor and sensor wires. Pull the wires through the upper chassis. Align the chassis and screw it down tightly. Step 4. Affix the battery holder. Fix the battery holder on the upper chassis. Step 5. Affix the breadboard. 
Fix the breadboard on top of the battery holder. Step 6. Affix the 7 segment LED. Fix the 7 segment LED on top of the battery holder just above the distance measuring sensor. The upper chassis assembly is now complete. Part 3. Connecting the wires. Finally, these are the four steps for connecting the wires. Step 1. Connecting the motor wires to the microcontroller. Let's start by attaching the left motor wires to pins 3 and 4 and the right motor wires to pins 1 and 2. Let's do the same to the right motor wires. Now, tighten the screws. Step 2. Connecting the line sensors to the microcontroller. There are three wires coming out from each line sensor that need to be connected to the microcontroller. Connect the ground of the left line sensor to the ground of the microcontroller and the VCC of the left line sensor to the VCC of the microcontroller. Then, connect pin A0 of the left line sensor to pin A2 of the microcontroller. Now, connect the ground of the right line sensor to the ground of the microcontroller and the VCC of the right line sensor to the VCC of the microcontroller. Then, connect pin A0 of the right line sensor to pin A1 of the microcontroller. Step 3. Connecting the distance measuring sensor to the microcontroller. From the distance measuring sensor, connect the ground of the sensor to the ground of the microcontroller and the VCC of the sensor to the VCC of the microcontroller. Connect the last wire on the sensor to pin A0 of the microcontroller. Step 4. Connecting the power. Connect the battery cable to the microcontroller. Congratulations! You have successfully assembled the basics of the mobile robot vehicle.